Hey brothers and sisters! For the 27th of Adar, the Kitsur Lukutu Maran, today's lesson is called Confident Cures. Teaching number 57. Sha'alu as Rabbi Yose ben Kisma. They asked Rabbi Yose, the son of Kisma. Sanhedrin 98a. The most vital thing is that a person should have faith in the Torah sages. He must be careful to honor them and to deeply revere them. Even if it seems to him that they are doing something contrary to the Torah, God forbid, he must nonetheless believe that certainly they are acting correctly in accordance with the Torah. This is because the Torah is given over to the sages of the generation to apply and interpret according to what they know. Therefore, a person must cast aside his own intellect and ideas and rely on the sages. All cures are dependent on the Torah, as in the Torah heals all of one's flesh. Proverbs 4.22 the Torah is given over to the sages, and we are commanded to listen to them and not to deviate from their words right or left. Deuteronomy 17.11 However, a person who disdains their words and does not believe what they say, because it seems to him that the Torah does not really dictate that way, such a person is afflicted with an incurable ailment from which he dies. God forbid, as our sages of blessed memory said, perhaps a snake of the sage has bitten him, for which there is no cure. Shabbos 110a the cure comes from constant confidence and clarity in consulting credited community Torah coaches. When a person falls from faith in Torah sages, the remedy for this is an oath. Specifically, he should make an oath and fulfill it at once. In this way, he'll return to his faith in the sages, and he will attain complete healing. Then the lights of the patriarchs glimmer within him, and he merits the pleasure of Shabbos, which is eating and drinking in holiness. He also merits to nullify his anger, and to subdue and throw down his enemies and detractors. Through this, the gate of the other side will fall, and Mashiach will come and build up the gates of holiness. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow, and please God, we'll learn again tomorrow.